If you're trying to take your content to the next level, CapCut Pro is a must. What's up, friend? Welcome back to CapCut's YouTube channel. We all know and love the free CapCut app. It's helped us put some of our best content out into the world. But have you tried CapCut Pro? CapCut Pro is, as the name would suggest, for pros like you and me, okay? We're talking video animation, filters, retouching, transitions, everything. So let's get into this. We're gonna talk about all of the amazing things that you can only do with CapCut Pro. You may already be familiar with CapCut's iconic transitions, but there are a ton of really cool ones that you can only access through CapCut Pro. I use and love a lot of them, but one of my personal favorites is Signal Glitch. It just adds a really cool technological feel to your content. I'm also a really big fan of Vertical Blur too. I try to do my own fancy camera work with that one, but when you're filming something alone on a tripod, it can be a little difficult to recreate. So that's a good one to keep in your back pocket. Just scrolling down here on the CapCut desktop app, you can see which transitions are pro and even add them to your timeline, but you won't be able to export your project and share it with the world without a CapCut Pro account. The effects section also has a lot of really cool features that are only available for CapCut Pro users. Effects are some of the easiest ways to spice up an otherwise boring video, so if you're not already utilizing this section, I highly recommend it. One of the best pro ones, in my humble opinion, is Rainbow Doodle. This one in a fashion video, 10 out of 10. When I'm going for something a little bit more moody and dramatic, random flash cut can be pretty interesting. Like any other section on the CapCut desktop app, you can further segment the effects section depending on the vibe that you're going for. Whether you're looking for retro effects, glitches, distortions, or more vlog friendly options, it's all here for you. And you can tell which ones are exclusive for Pro by looking for that Pro sticker on the top left-hand corner. My favorite section on the CapCut desktop app is text templates. You may have even seen me use these in a previous tutorial. I just live in this section. There are a ton of CapCut Pro text templates that can make your content so much more eye-catching and engaging. One of my favorites in this section is the animated location tab, but there's so many options to choose from. I always feel like inserting CapCut Pro text templates makes my content a little bit more visually interesting. It just gives your content that YouTube blog-esque vibe, elevates it a little bit, and I live for seeing this in other people's content too. Another CapCut Pro feature that I see a lot of TikTokers using is text-to-speech. If you've ever watched one of those oddly satisfying videos where they're telling a story in the background but it's not their voice, that's text-to-speech. It's a really cool feature if you prefer not to speak on camera or if you want to batch a lot of content in a short period of time. You can access text-to-speech under the text section on the desktop app. Simply drag the typeface that you want to use down to your timeline, type whatever you want to say, and then head to the text-to-speech section on the upper right-hand side of your screen. From here, you'll see a ton of text-to-speech options and the pro ones are labeled accordingly. If you make more serious content, I think the documentary one is great, especially if the story you're telling is a little bit on the spooky side. My personal favorite is Lord Cringe for obvious reasons. It's just hilarious. Before I let you go, I wanna to touch on one of the coolest features that you can access as a CapCut Pro user, AI. I made a whole video on how to use the AI script feature, so if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check it out. But one of my favorite AI capabilities is AI images. I see this trending a lot on TikTok and I just spend a lot of time messing around in here. All you do is add an image of yourself and you can either write your own prompt that you want AI to use or pick from a trending one. Once you pick your prompt, use the slider and it'll generate an entirely new image. Be careful though, because if you're anything like me, you're gonna have a lot of fun in this section. CapCut has a lot of features that are exclusive to pro users and I really do think that using these can Take your content to the next level. You can dive deeper into CapCut Pro features on the mobile or desktop app, play around a little bit, and then tap the Join Pro button on the upper right. I hope this video was helpful. Leave us a comment letting us know what your favorite CapCut Pro feature is and if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.